What's up, y'all? I'm going to give you a quick dry run, man, through, uh, through what I use with my free doll, Audacity. Give y'all a quick dry run right quick on what I do to make my vocals sound a little better. Um, I had to learn all this on my own. Sorry for the way the camera's moving. I'm trying to record this off my cell phone, so I mean, it might be a little choppy. But um, I'm going to give you a quick dry run. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import the beat. I made this for, uh, for my girl. I believe this is it right here. Yeah, this is the beat. This is called the More Than Air Remix. I'm going to let y'all uh, go ahead and hear what the beat sounds like <clears throat> real fast. Alright, I'm about to bring my vocal track in right here. I've already done this once, but I felt like it was time for me to post something else. I'm getting a lot better at my mixing. I just don't seem to have a damn a good digital audio work center. There you are. So I'm having to I'm having to do everything on my own and learn it. Alright. Now this is post pro this is pre-production right here, just just rough. Now see you notice how how the vocals sound like they're they're a little bit too loud over the beat. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go in here and add an EQ to remove any frequencies that could be distorting the signal. Um it could just be making it sound choppy and um it's not like I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten it out. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add a I'm gonna add a pass filter. I'm gonna draw the curves. This is to remove uh the bottom frequencies, you know, the ones that won't do anything but really muddle your sound. So I'm gonna go up here and just uh kind of chop those frequencies off real fast. Alright, after I add the, the pass filter, yeah, it's slow, I know, fellas. Let's see if I can make the screen a little wider here. It's kind of hard doing this with one hand. <laughs> um, I apologize again for how rough this video may be, but now... I'm going to go in here and boost some of the frequencies I feel like need to be moved up a little bit. We'll start with some of the highs, some of the mid range. You, would just believe a few years ago, I you hear how that sounds like muddy. So I need to I need to pull that one down just a tad. I'd say down to about negative six decibels. If you would just believe a few years ago, I didn't know you like I do now, but I. And I want to adjust some of the treble over here at the top. It gives it a little bit more clarity to the vocal I've come to find. But you want to be 
conservative in your cuts, in your boots, I've also come to find because too much EQ can really damage. It can do more damage than, than good. Okay, so we're about right right dead on the money with that one. Um, as I said, I've already done this song. It's on my SoundCloud. It's called The More Than Air Saga, Six Years Later. I originally did this song for the same woman back in 2009 on my first demo, Serial Sickness. And let's, let's see how it sounds just with the EQ over the top of the beat. You hear how there's a little bit more clarity, but there's still some frequencies that are muddled. So I'm going to go in here and add a small compressor. It, it still sounds like it's kind of like the vocals not sitting in the beat right. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to adjust the threshold to about negative 12. I can always make up for that later with the limiting process. Um, I'm going to give it a a little bit slower ratio and I'm gonna leave the attack time as it is I usually give my ratio about five five to five one or six one depending on um, whether or not I may duplicate the vocal track to make the vocals a little bit louder um, I'm gonna go ahead oh no shit see I'm compressing the wrong one sorry about that YouTube I'm getting too much of a damn hurry here I need to compress my vocals, not the beat itself. So yeah, just leave it as I had it with the ratio and the attack time. And this, what this is gonna do, this compressor, well, Audacity's stock compressor, it's it's gonna smash the vocals down a little bit to make to kind of boost it to boost your vocal in the low points, and it's gonna kind of compress the high points to where they won't be so loud and I don't feel like I'll have to duplicate this um, because the vocal is already loud I mean it's loud enough with the presence I'm gonna go in here and touch it with a little bit of reverb Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to turn that down to about 40 right here. Your reverberance is everything. You want to keep an eye right here on your wet gain down right here on your wet gain. And the size of the room can matter a lot too. As I recorded this in my bedroom, I need to bring the room size down to about 40. And... And I feel like once I add the little bit of reverb, it'll it'll give it that that fullness that um it'll it'll give it a little bit of fullness. And I mean, this is just a quick dry run, man. If I could sit my phone down and really get in here and make a decent tutorial using Audacity, because there's not many people on YouTube I've come to find that really know what the fuck they're doing with Audacity, and I apologize for the language. I've had to learn most of my mixing through watching tutorials with Pro Tools and Logic Pro, because these guys with Audacity, um, like Trent Daniels and uh, fucking Tyler James, whatever his name is, man, they don't know what they're doing, and um, there's a little bit more to the mixing process than, I mean, one dude wasn't even compressing his vocals at all. It was nothing but reverb. More than the air I breathe. <laughs> if you would just believe, a few years ago, I didn't know you like See how it sounds a little bit more fuller, but there's not too much reverb on it. I can mute the beat real fast. I'd give it a little bit of reverb now. Here's what I can really do to 
this is one of my favorite things to do. Um, sometimes I will duplicate my vocal track since it's been EQ'd and reverbed already. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just totally smash. I mean, I'm going to straight smash this vocal track. I'm going to turn it down to about negative 20 decibels. And I'm going to give it a little bit higher ratio. Um, bring it up to about 6, 6, 1. And what this will do, this will smash this vocal in with the original. And it'll just, it'll add a little bit more depth to it without really overpowering the instrumental. That's what I use the high pass filter for in the beginning with my EQ because it'll remove some of those lower frequencies that you have. And now when I'm going to take this and I'm going to limit it. I'm going to use my hard limiter right here. And I'm going to adjust the decibel limit to about negative four. This will give it a good clean wave. Um, a good clean lined up waveform that I can use. See how it kind of, it kind of just centered everything, you know, um, where the decibels aren't overpowering. See how that sounds a little bit louder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and this is a little secret technique of mine. I've, I've found to make your vocals sound a little bit more fuller. I don't do this all the time, but it does work. You can go in here and change the pitch of your overlay. But see, I don't want it in a deep, I don't want it in a deep monotone. I would rather have it in a little bit more lighter monotone. If you would just believe a few years ago. I now that one right there is almost God. Alvin Chipmunkish, but it's, it's going to add more clarity and a little bit more of a studio feel after I turn it down. Now, since I've limited it, I'm going to turn the gain down. To about about negative six decibels and notice you hear how it kind of it adds just that that studio feel um, like I said, this is a very rough draft. This is me running through it in, you know, about 14 minutes. Um, when I get a better camera, fellas, I can really sit down and explain to you a little bit more in depth, you know, as far as delays. This doesn't, Audacity doesn't have a delay that you can set the tempo of the beat. You have to go in here and delay every one of the words that you want to be delayed. Um, it's it's really time consuming i need a better doll but for now this is just a little rough draft um that i can show y'all a little bit of what i use in my mixing process because sometimes i can take three four hours on a single song um another thing i meant to show you um before i even started what you want to do is get about two to three seconds of audio this is basic artistry stuff right here any artist knows this you want to go in here and get your noise profile for your vocals and you want to highlight the whole vocal track and i usually just leave it as it is i've went in here and tweaked um you know the noise reduction the decibel right there the gain and the sensitivity this is all my own tweaking um to basically remove any background noise it depends on your mic too I use the Audio Technica AT2020 USB condenser, so there's not really much background noise in the vocal track. Um, but I still like to make sure it's all removed before I even begin to to mix. Um, hopefully, I'll have another vid for you guys soon. But for now, this is a little bit of basic tutorial for Audacity. A, a lot of 
people using this doll don't seem to know how to use it correctly and i did my whole lp with it audacity can produce some very good sound and music if you know what you're doing with it and if not then i guess you can really fuck up your whole track but this is a little bit of what i've done and y'all just kind of stay tuned for the next one you can find my demo um at soundcloud slash enemies haze baby e-n-e-m-e-z h-a-y-e-s b-a-b-y the um lp is and it's called your title here and i did it all with audacity um this is me signing out guys y'all be sure to like comment subscribe whatever you do